the internet, Donna here. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about doing your own adjustments on your dentures. Now, I've done a couple of adjustments on my on my Joes. Um, I've actually taken the top uh, palette and made it a horseshoe. I've got a Taurus, um, which is an extra growth of bone right smack in the middle of the roof of my mouth. And as my gums continue to heal, mind you, these are not intended to be permanent dentures. These are what I'm calling intermediates, something to wear in between the immediate dentures that no longer serve me and the permanent dentures that I will get. So my gums are still healing, albeit um, a lot more slowly than they were when I was in my immediate dentures. Um, but my gums on the top flattened out a little bit, which caused the palate part of my upper to put pressure on that torus up there. So I cut it out. Now, if you look, you can see I've got some denture fit here just to ensure that I don't uh, lose any suction. And not only that, but um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, very thin at the end and gets thicker as it goes up. Um, this is because I wasn't able to grade this, like to slope this gradually enough with my Dremel tool to where it would be comfortable. And the denture fit that's here is hiding this edge that my tongue would otherwise seek out and play with. So if there's anything abnormal going on in my mouth, my tongue will find it and play with it every time. Let's see, I've got just a little bit of denture fit on here uh, to give me that cushion that I'm used to. This all still fits very well, and here's my suction spot right here. I have cut out everything that was where my torus was. So essentially, I've horseshoed my denture myself. Now I showed this to Jamie and asked him if this was okay, and he asked me how it felt. I said, it feels amazing. He said, then it's fine. He also said that he could do that um, to my next set. Uh, if I order from him again, he could go ahead and remove that area where the Taurus is for, for me, so I don't have to do it myself. And I think that's just fantastic. So he can make that horseshoe shape for me right up front without me having to do any adjustments to it. Now today, I'm gonna to do an adjustment on my lower. I've got a sore spot on the inside of my lower ridge. Uh, that was a bad idea, I have adhesive in there. Eh but it's right about here is where the sore spot is. And now that I'm feeling around on it, there's a little bit of extra material right here, right here. So I'm going to adjust this just the teeniest bit and take some of that, uh, some of that curl around lip off of this right here. So I'm going to go clean these up and we're going to get to work. Okay. As you can see here, what we have, we have my lower denture with it, well, it's still a little wet there, but um, it has no denture fit and no uh, adhesive on it at all. I have my nail Dremel that I purchased from Walmart. I have an actual Dremel, uh, but I'm not planning on making a big adjustment, so I want to use my small, my little low speed nail Dremel for this. I have a flat uh, sanding burr and I have a conical sanding burr. I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to get better use from, but I'm going to start with the flat one and uh, we'll go from there. So what I want to do is I want to just double check the site where I want to make my adjustment. Yep, right, right here. So what I'm seeing here in the light is I'm seeing that there's a little lip right here. I'm going to go ahead and first of all dry the spit off of my hands. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do here, spin this up. And we just take a very little bit off. We don't want to cause problems and it doesn't need to be a major adjustment we take a little bit off and then we try it in 
well, wipe the acrylic off of there. And then try it in and see how it feels. And it's better. Oh, let me bite down. Yeah, it's better. Now, I do have a spot back here that's maybe a little bit too shallow because I get some pain back there. So I'm going to take my rounded burr, fire this up, and get rid of some of this hair. And again, not too much. This isn't a major undertaking. Just a very little bit, just to smooth it out. Take that and wipe it out. Get all the acrylic dust out of there. Try it in. Perfect. Perfection. <laughs> it's not rubbing on the inside edge right there anymore. And when I bite down, I'm not getting that pain right here anymore. So a little teeny minor adjustment. And you saw I shaved off a fraction of a millimeter. Very quick, very easy. A little bit with these adjustments goes a really long way. So what about you? Have you done adjustments on your dentures yourself? Have you watched as your dental tech at your dentist's office has done your adjustments? I would love to hear about that. If you could leave me a comment, I'd love to read and respond to every single one. That is all that I have for you today. Until next time when I have a fresh new video for you, be good to each other, keep smiling, and keep being awesome.